Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can get going using UI Router to add routing to your Angular project. Now, this is going to be client side routing. However, UI Router does allow you to enable something called HTML5 mode uh, that helps out with your history state and things like that. So, check it out. Let's get started with UI Router right now. So in the last video, we got started by adding UI router to our project, and we didn't actually get started with anything other than simply adding the JavaScript code and adding the UI router to our dependencies here. So if you skipped the last video because you didn't want to use Bow or anything like that, go ahead and download UI router, install it in your project, and then go ahead and add it here. Now what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be adding some routing. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to head to our HTML where we had our index.html and we could scroll down. And before we had just this body where we had the controller, um, the controller as syntax here and everything like that. We had our HTML inside of here. We even had a person which was being added via and ng include. Now we can continue to do that. However, what we're going to want to do on this body is we're going to want to have this be a UI view. So we can do this directly on the body. We can just take a main element here. And on this main, let's go ahead and add the directive UI hyphen view. Now this lets our project know that the content in the view is going to be added inside of this UI view here. Now for now, just in this example, uh, to get rid of some of the complexity here, I'm going to go ahead and just simply comment this code out here. And what we can see is that when we do that, we have a blank slate. But if we look into our HTML, we have our body with the controller as syntax, and we have this UI view, and it has a class of ng scope, which you can see we didn't add to it. Uh, however, that's just being added by Angular itself. Now, also what we want to do is get rid of this directory controller as dir list. Now, I want to keep this code around just so we have this. Uh, usually don't comment a lot of stuff out in my normal work, but just so we can reference that later. And I'm just going to have a clean body tag here. We're going to show you in a later video how you can add your controller as syntax directly to the route itself. Okay, so let's head to our directory.js now that we have that going. and. After this top line where we have the controller method, we can have a period and then config. Now inside of here, we're going to have uh, parentheses and inside of the parentheses, we're going to have a function. Now this function is going to be unnamed so we can get rid of that. And the argument is going to be two things. We're going to have a dollar sign state provider in camel case and a dollar sign URL router provider. And those are both in camel case with the dollar sign starting in each. And as you can see, we have our curly brackets and the body of our function here. Now in the body of our function, we can do sort of things like, like defining a route in case none of the routes are uh, have been issued. However, we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to actually create our first route. What we can do is go ahead and give this a new state. Now to give this a new state, we can say dollar sign state provider like we had added before and we're going to have a period state I'm using the state method and the state is going to be given a name now the state can just be home and we can have a comma and let's put another curly bracket here and open and close curly bracket and now inside of this object we're going to be having some properties here the one that we're going to be using is going to be template colon and now inside of here we can do a couple of things we can actually reference a template by using uh, instead of this template tag we can actually use a template URL tag and it's going to or a template URL property and that's going to allow us to reference another template however we can simply just say uh, actual HTML in here which we're probably not going to want to do but for this example um, we can just say hello and then we can close that up just like so. Now we have our first state in our application where we have a state provider of home and it's going to be using a template just of these H1s. Now let's head to our document here. We can refresh and you can see that absolutely nothing happens. 
Now that's actually because at this point we need to actually give this a URL if we want to use it like that. So to give this a URL, what we can do is come in here and say uh, above template or pretty much anywhere in this object, we can say URL colon. Now inside of a string, we can have forward slash home. And this is going to be the URL that allows us to access this page. Now you can see we can actually visit that URL by typing in forward slash pound forward slash home. And you can see we're immediately greeted with this hello. So we've now actually defined this URL path as home. It is getting the URL of forward slash home and uh, it is saying hello. Now let's actually go ahead and delete this because we want our home to just be with no information at all. We just want it to be this forward slash. So let's go ahead and set this up as our default route. We can do that by having dollar sign URL router provider and we can say period otherwise now otherwise is going to redirect to a specific state so we can say otherwise yeah go ahead to the forward slash that we had here and let's use colon here so now if no other routes are picked it's automatically going to take you here so in that case if we just say come just to our, our website here you can see what it does is it actually adds the pound forward slash here directly and takes us to where this says hello Awesome, so we now have UI router with some basic routing. So let's go ahead and add another route just so you can see this sort of an action here. And let's go ahead and add a, another state. So I've just copied this state provider.state. Now another way you can do that is simply by getting rid of this initial state provider, getting rid of this end semicolon here, and just sort of tacking on this additional state. Now, some people like to have this set up by having this all indented. You could have a space here and having state provider on its own line. So we can go ahead and do that like so. And now this keeps all your states sort of uh, together here. Now we can group this and we can just say about. Now this is going to be an H1 saying about. Okay, and now we can go ahead and change this URL to be about. Now when we come to our page, you can see that when we browse to the URL about, it changes the title to about here. Now there are all sorts of ways that you can add in linking to this. So you can have an, a UI router directive that actually writes your href for you. You can write your hrefs yourself uh, when you want to be linking the pages. Just make sure you include these uh, pound signs for now. But as you can see, we've got a router setting up. Uh, it's actually giving us some basic states when we change the URL and it's changing the text here. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna show you a lot more functionality with UI router. There's sort of all sorts of things like nested views. You're gonna be using your templates, this controller as syntax. So you'll be defining your controller as in the router itself, all sorts of really cool stuff. So keep watching. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.